Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video is all about setting healthy boundaries in relationships. And it's in response to a question that I received on Instagram from a longtime subscriber. And the specific question is for uh, boundaries in family relationships, but honestly, the tips and practices that I'm gonna be sharing with you can be applied to setting healthy boundaries in any type of relationship, whether it is with your coworkers, with your family, with your romantic partner, with your friends even. And I'm gonna just dive right into it. I'm going to read out the, um, the question that I received. And if you're new to my channel or you haven't uh, caught up on my most recent videos, I am not editing or splicing my videos in the middle at all so i'm going to be referring to my notes i'm going to be referring to my whiteboard that is right over there because i wanted to be sure to include all of the information that i've written down um, that i want to share with you in this video so um, just be aware of that um, i've gotten a lot of positive feedback from you guys enjoying these more relaxed videos i just feel there's an extra layer of authenticity when i'm not um, overly editing myself and I'm able to just share with you as though you are sitting in the room with me right now so I'm gonna go ahead I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna use any names I'm just gonna read out the question hi Melissa longtime YouTube follower here firstly thank you for all your content you've helped me so much I was wondering if you could either do a video on boundaries or maybe just give me some advice I'm desperately in need of setting boundaries with my in-laws. I really am unsure how to bring it up and I need some help in what to say. I'm struggling with their continual questions on mine and my husband's income and finances. If one of us doesn't reply, they ask the other one they ask the other when one of us is not around. My husband and I are both on the same page that is between us, but we continually are asked and probed in nearly every visit with them. My husband is much less affected than I, as he doesn't have the same sensitive reaction each time it happens. I haven't had a conversation with them that our finances are between us as we're married, so I know they aren't aware of the situation. I need some help how to broach the subject. When we have diverted or not answered their probing, they continue to ask and then ask in a different way or um, bring the conversation back to it. Um, the family are used to being open with finances, but now that we're married, I want them to know that some things are not their business and that need to be respected. It's causing me immense stress and affecting my relationship with them as I'm feeling resentful and feel our marriage is being disrespected. I know this is not reasonable as we haven't communicated any of this to them. I want to bring it up when my husband is with me so it is a united front of what our expectations are i want to have a good relationship with them and this is making it really difficult for me i wanted to read it all out for you guys so you could um, understand the response that i'm giving first of all i want to say that i love the intention for having a positive relationship for wanting to maintain that great relationship with your in-laws i think you know i could i could tell by reading that out that you have a lot of respect for them um, and i think that this is the case when people have a tough time setting boundaries it's very similar when people have a tough time saying no it's that fear of uh of hurting other people letting them down disappointing them and also what often comes with that is a feeling of guilt like you feel guilty for speaking up you feel guilty for saying what you need and that might feel like a good thing because you're like hey i'm pleasing them they're not upset at me they're they're okay they're happy but you know when done over the weeks years whatever and the longer you go with that it kind of starts to wear at your 
you know, at you. It wears at you on the inside and I can feel that frustration and that stress kind of bubbling up. And I think you're completely right with wanting to bring up the subject with them and let them know how you really feel. So first of all, I really, really want to share with you something that I screenshotted on Instagram a long time ago and I, I had to scroll really far back to find it, but I knew I was going to share this in a video because it was so helpful. And I want to credit the person who came up with it, or at least where I found it, and it was from Hey Amber Ray on Instagram. And um, I will actually write this in the description box if you want to copy it, because I just find it to be so helpful. So basically, how to set boundaries in three easy steps. And this is something that will work very well written out. So you can write down all the things in your life that you value. So one of yours in this specific example would be, I value um, communicating with my husband as a team and keeping our finances between us or whatever, you know, whatever wording you want to use. So the three steps are I value, the second one is so I need, and the third one is I will honor this by doing blank. So um, there are some examples that are here. So you could say, I value my well-being. So I need rest, play, and off hours. I will honor this by not working on weekends. And so when you bring this up to them, you can find a way to phrase this using this method, using this three-step method, I value, so I need, and you could say, so we need, you know, you and your husband. Um, and I will honor this by. And so the reason I really like this is it's not blaming. I find that if you go into the situation saying what the other person is doing that's upsetting you, it can really kind of um, get their guard up immediately and make them much less receptive to hearing you and hearing what you have to say. Because I don't know about you, but if someone comes to me and says, Melissa, when you do this, it makes me feel blah, 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 blah. And right away I'm feeling like, oh, I've done something wrong, like my defenses are up, like this person's blaming me, they're attacking me. Whereas, I like that this says, I value. So if you bring up the subject to them and say, I really value, and you can even say, I really value the incredible relationship that we have as a family. And so I need some space between just my husband and I that we can kind of discuss the personal matters in our life and then I will honor this by letting you guys know when I feel that that's, that's being, that boundary is being stepped over. And again, work, work it in a way that feels right for your specific situation, but I just really wanted to share this three-step method with you guys because it kind of simplified the whole concept of setting boundaries and I like that it enables you to put how you're feeling into one concise sentence. Um, I just thought that was really, really powerful. And again, that's from Hey Amber Ray. I will link her on Instagram or in the description box as well. Now I'm gonna to refer to my handy whiteboard because when I first got this question from you, I actually, so many ideas popped into my head and this is often my process when I'm making these videos is I just start writing down all of the, um, all of the things that come to mind that may be helpful for you. So first of all, see it as you being honest because right now you might feel like you're being nice, but you're not being honest. And when you actually see it for what it is and say, am I really being, is this really um, the highest good? Is this really the best way I can handle this by keeping my true feelings to myself and just pleasing them and, and biting my tongue? Like when you look at the situation, when you look at bringing up how you feel as you being honest with them and you being honest with yourself, I think that um, kind of that kind of just makes you see how important it is to really express yourself, to say, you know, and explain it to them, saying, I really want to be honest with you guys because I value our relationship so much. And next, the second thing I wrote down was to not assume how they're going to respond. You know, it's so easy to do this in any situation where you're a little bit nervous about bringing something up, assuming that they're going to get mad at you. Often we, we assume the worst, like there's a chance that they could actually really respect you for bringing this up and say, wow, you know, this is really mature of her to be 
to be bringing this up to us or I really respect that you like they might actually love that you're mentioning it to them you might assume and think no no I know them they're gonna get offended they're gonna think this they're gonna say that but often that's our own fear and that's our own mind convincing us of the worst possible outcome and you know I do this often and I recommend this often to people when they're going for job interviews or they're going to maybe you like have a difficult conversation to, to have like you're breaking up with someone or you need to come clean about something that you've done to a friend or whatever it may be. You can assume how they're going to respond by you speaking your truth. But the truth is it's just your own assumption. They might actually be so much more receptive to your honesty and your feelings than you might think. And so kind of keeping that in mind and actually assume that they're going to respond well. That is actually, you know, by assuming that they are going to respond pleasantly and be open and receptive to what you have to say could kind of diffuse your own feelings of stress before you go into the conversation. Because often people are responding to our vibes and our body language and the way we're speaking more than they're actually responding to the words. So if you go into the conversation with love and with a resolution in mind and with you know with respect for them then they're gonna feel that you know there's a big difference with saying between saying look you guys have been driving me absolutely nuts with this like stay out of this I need to set some boundaries like we're not talking about our finances anymore and like that's it you know that is one way to handle it but you can take the same exact message and say look I you know I've been thinking about this for a while now and the reason I haven't brought it up is because of how much I respect you and how much love I have for our relationship and I love how things are between us and I would never want that to change. Um, but I just really need to say that, you know, how I feel about our personal finances is that something that I really want to work on with my husband and, you know, that's something that's very sacred to me in our marriage and that's something that, you know, is private for me. So I really hope that you can respect that. Um, the same way that I respect you and if there's anything that you ever want to share openly with me then I am I'm here to listen to that as well you know there's a big difference in how you there's a big difference in how you present something when it comes to your body language your tone of voice the eye contact um, just your gestures that you're making and people will know like if you have your arms crossed or if you're facing them if you have love in your eyes people can sense that and I really do think based on the message that you wrote to me that there's a lot of love there um, from them to you and vice versa as well I can definitely sense that I um, mean I think you might be surprised with how receptive they're gonna be to you being honest with them at least I hope so all right next I wanted to say and I kind of uh, covered this a little bit already, is do not make it about them. Do not blame. Like sometimes when, especially if you've been bottling up these feelings for a while, just be very, very careful with your words, not to, not to say, and you guys are like this, and you've done this, and you know, the way that you guys do this really makes me feel like this. The more you can say, the more you can kind of detach and say that it's really about yourself and your own needs and what you need to feel happy, safe, secure, loved, appreciated, and respected, the more that you can make it about like, I really need this for myself, then it's going to be like, oh, okay, she's just explaining to us what she needs to feel loved and appreciated and respected versus like a personal attack. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. Um, next, I wanted to say that, um, yeah, let them know your intentions with setting boundaries. Like the reason you're bringing this up, they might just be like, where did this come from? Like they probably have zero idea that you're even feeling this way. So if you just bring it up out of the blue, they might be like, well, what did we do that make you, that's making you feel this way? Like why, what are you bringing this up for? So let them know that your, in, your intentions are because you want to strengthen your relationship with your husband, because you want to maintain a, a fantastic relationship with them as your in-laws and because you like respect them so much like letting them know that your intentions are not to distance yourself from their family or anything like that just reassuring them anything that you can do to kind of reassure them that they are not like that you're not treating them as though they are attacking you is going to make them way more open and receptive to like listening to what you have to say and being like okay yeah i think we can do that you know message received 
Okay, and then the last one, I just want to say, when setting boundaries, reverse the roles. Assume that maybe you were doing something that was making someone else uncomfortable. Wouldn't you want them to come to you? Would you like to find out like five years later that, you know, your coworker was really offended every time that you called him or her the specific name in jest? Like if you're joking with someone and every day you call them a name and they have never, they were never able to set those boundaries with you and say, hey, you know, Melissa, it really offends me when you call me that. Or Melissa, like, I really don't like how you do this or say this. It's, it's really upsetting me. And, you know, I've always felt uncomfortable about it. Wouldn't you want to know? Because I definitely would. And so I think, you know, sometimes when you reverse the roles in any kind of communication or situation and you actually picture yourself as being that person, wouldn't you want to know? I think that kind of helps to also allow you to see that setting boundaries is nothing to be ashamed of. You know, there's nothing to be like your, your life is not about making everything for everyone else around you as comfortable as possible at the expense of your own feelings. And I just want you to sit with that because I think so many of us, you know, people with just kind hearts, you know, end to veer, like end up veering to the side of like overly people pleasing and being like very self-sacrificing, thinking that we're doing the right thing by, you know, keeping everyone happy. But, you know, it's not really the case. That's just in your mind. You're assuming that, the, that you're, what you're doing by giving up your own peace and by not speaking up is making other people happy. People that love you want you to be happy. And if setting those boundaries is that important to you, then they will respect that. And so, again, these can all be applied in many different situations. I think families... Um, setting boundaries with families is one of the toughest ones because they're there all the time. Like your family is your family. And if you want a good relationship, if you want to maintain a lasting relationship with them, then, you know, it's better to speak up sooner than later. As I said, it's not nice to hear eight years down the line that something that you've been doing for eight years has made someone else feel extremely uncomfortable and that they're resenting you for it or like holding a grudge. It's way better to just clear the air. And I think... By doing this, you'll also set the tone for everyone involved to feel comfortable to speak up honestly. Because relationships are not just about the freely fun aspects and always like, you know, only showing the happiness and only showing that like, yeah, things are great, ha ha ha. When on the inside you're feeling like, oh, I really wish that I could like tell them this. You know, it'll just feel like a big sigh of relief once you've actually had the conversation. So I hope that was very helpful for you and that you can put that into practice. I wish you all the best with speaking up for yourself. Honestly, the more you do this, the better you're going to feel. And I think it's one of those things that the longer you build up the conversation, the the more intimidating it might seem. But once you've done it, you're going to just be like, oh, what was the big deal? I should have done that a long time ago. That felt great. It felt great to just speak up for myself and just be honest about how I was feeling and what is really needed for me. And, um, and I really hope that you know anyone who needs to set some sort of boundaries in their life is going to find that three-step process that I shared to be helpful. I'm going to say it once more um, and I'll share some of the other examples that were here. So one was, I value creative flow. So I need minimal calls and meetings. I will honor this by scheduling only when critical. Another one is I value quality time. And so I need focused one-on-one connection with my partner. I will honor this by weekly date nights without technology. And I just think that that three little step thing can be so, so helpful. I hope you put it into practice in your own life. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. And if you're not yet subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. My name is Melissa. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.